Hey ho, Dookies, Andy Lippy here, and I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room. Right, I did a recent video, and I taught you how to do the time and date widget inside of Streamerbot, and then all of a sudden I'm getting all these comments in YouTube, I'm getting everybody on Twitch telling me, Andy, you've done a dum-dum, what are you doing? You're honestly trash, and I'm like, whoa, 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 I'm just doing the best I can, alright? So I showed you a very long-winded method of actually doing it in C Sharp, but... Nate being Nate, the creator of Streamerbot, did it even easier. So, I'm going to show you how to do it very, very simple and quick, all right? Put your rock over the stone, let's go. This portion of the video is sponsored by Own.TV. Own.TV are literally your one-stop shop for all things streaming. They've got tons and tons of overlays and alert packages. You can get all your different sub emotes and also badges. Anything that you need for your stream is available on Own.TV. And what's even better is that you can save yourself a cheeky 50% off anything using offer code Andy50. I'll leave all the links in the description. Thank you Own.TV for sponsoring this portion of the video. So to get this working, it's a similar sort of setup as before, but we're just going to create the little widget inside of OBS. So I've created a new scene here and a new text source, which is the time and date widget. You can call it whatever you want. And I've just set it up just to be a rough size. If I start typing into this box, for instance, you can see we've got all the uh, the text working there. So we're going to pass the time and date through into there. So if we jump into Streamerbot, the eagle-eyed viewers here will see... Uh, some new stuff that I'm getting up to, so make sure you are subscribed, all right? You don't want to miss the new widgets that I'm going to be bringing out for stream up. And if you want early access to them, then please consider joining Patreon, either mine or stream up, and you'll get early access, all right? So we're going to press add just here, and we're going to create a new uh, action. So we're going to create a time and date action just here. We can put it in a group if we want. Uh, it's completely up to you, and we press OK. So we've got time and date. So, if we right click on the sub actions and add a sub action, we can create a OBS text source action. And in here, we'll be able to select what text we want putting into there. So, we can actually go to the streaming bot wiki. This is where we found it, basically on my Twitch channel. Everybody booted up, they're like, Andy, you're such a dum dum. You're doing this the wrong way. But they taught me. They taught me, so I'm going to teach you. So the section that I'm on about on the Streamerbot wiki is the variables tab. Obviously, they're revamping all this wiki page at the moment, but it was just this tiny little thing here. I just completely bypassed it. Variables can be formatted inline using uh, standard C-sharp notation. So we can actually edit what variables, what information's actually given to us and what format we want it in for each variable. So, for instance, the time can be written time t. And if you saw my previous kind of video on doing time and date in C Sharp, you'll understand what those little codes are. So, if we do, say, time t, for instance, we'll go back to Streamerbot and we do percent just in here and do time and then a colon and just do the letter t and a percent sign. So this is saying we're gonna be using the time variable with the formatting of just T. So if we press OK, it's not going to do anything right now, even when you press test, for instance, because if I press test when we've got that open, it's not going to pass the variable through. So it'll just say percent time T percent, and that's not what we want. So what I'm going to do is just set this up to a small action. So I can set this up to be on a timed action. So if I go to settings, go to timed actions and add a new one, and I'll just do time and date. This is going to automatically update. You can set it for, for every second if you wanted. Just for this tutorial, I am. But most people, you probably want to just have it update every like minute. So change it to every 60 seconds. It's completely up to you. Select the action. And we'll go to time and date just here. And I'm going to press OK. Now, every second, we will see this completely update. So we've got the time and it's just got the normal time just there. And we can see that that's working. If I start typing extra code into the the text here and start writing extra stuff and press OK, you'll see every second it does actually update. I just want to take a second of your time to tell you about our Patreon. It'll help support me make this content full time for you and you'll get perks as well. You can also support me on coffee and you'll also get the same perks and it goes a long way to supporting the channel. So now we've got that actually set up, we can have a look at what codes we can use to format it. 
So I'm going to leave this link in the description down below, and these are all the different things we can do. So we can use day of the month by just doing the letter D. Um, we can do DD for the day of the month that's, again, formatted differently, and it'll give you an example. There's a lot of different things. You can even do uh, tenths of milliseconds, milliseconds. Honestly, there's so many things that you can do with this, which is amazing. So if I do, for instance, um, say hour, so I'll do an hour, and I'll do the the minute as well. So if I go to see um, streamer bot now and go to the text source, I can do time. And then after the colon, I can put what I want. So I want the day because we saw that up here. Look, so we can do what number day it is just there, day of the month. And then we can actually if we scroll down, we can find where month is as well. So you can see month is capital M. Otherwise, it'll be minute. So I can do uh, space M so I can actually do different formats for the year so I want a four digit number year so I can actually do uh, Y Y Y Y and make sure it's in the same capitalization again there's a lot of other kind of uh, things that we can use here all the information about how each one of these looks is just there so if I press OK now and go back to OBS you'll see we've got it's the 6th or the 7th 2022 and we can still format that exactly how we want so if i wanted to put like the d there and do it like a slash and then a slash i can do stuff like that as well it's up to you how you want to format it so it's the exact same thing when it comes to time as well so if i start adding some extra variables after this if i want i could do it as a separate variable or inside the same thing so i'm going to actually split this up by putting in a little dash and we're going to start adding the hour, the minute, and the seconds. So if I go back into here, we can find hour, which should be H. So I'm going to be using it on the 24-hour clock just here. So I'm going to do two capital H's. So I'm going to do H, H. And then I'm going to do a colon to just separate. It's, it's completely up to you what you want to do inside this variable and how you want it to look. And I also want minutes. So I'm going to go down to M because it'll be minutes. And I want it 0 through 59 rather than 0, um, a double 0 through 59 rather than 0 from 59. So I'm going to do double M, that's lowercase. I'm also going to add in seconds just for this example. So I'm going to choose seconds, which is under S. So I'm going to do, again, 0, 0 to, to uh, 59 rather than just a single 0 to 59. So I'm going to do double S and press OK. Now when I go to OBS, you'll see we've got this timer that's completely automated, updating every single second to exactly what time it is today and today's date. That's pretty much all there is to it. You can obviously add even more code to it and say if your this certain variable is turned to this time, you could have alarms go off, set alarms. If you guys want me to teach you how to do that, then please let me know in the comments down below. Please make sure you do subscribe as well if this video has helped you out. Massive shout out to all these people here as well that make me do this content full time. If you want to support me making this free content for you, then please, please, please either join Patreon or the channel memberships down below. And check out one of these videos just here because it will help you out massively. Put your rock in the stone and I'll see you soon.